How was your train journey? It was fine, yeah. absolutely fine, yes. Yeah. Did you get a seat? I did, yes. Right, Plenty right. of seats. Of course, that young lady was travelling off-peak, and round about this time of day, it's always easy to get a seat on a train. It's a very different story, however, between 7am and 10am, when round about 26,000 people come into Manchester all by train. It can be a bit of a squeeze, and that's why a passenger's watchdog says that something's got to be done. Well, over the last year or so, we've been talking to thousands of passengers across Manchester about what their needs are and what their priorities are from the railway. And the two top things, surprise, surprise, are people want a seat and people want value for money. In July this year, the Transport Secretary, Ruth Kelly, committed the Department for Transport to spending an extra £10 billion on upgrading rail services. That's to include an extra 1,300 train carriages and upgrades at around 150 stations. Good news, but it's not as simple as that, which is why the Passenger Transport Authority Chairman, Roger Jones, was lobbying at the Labour Party conference in Bournemouth today. The probably only about 300 or so carriages will come to the big cities. Right. So we've got to lobby hard to make sure that we get the Manchester's fair share of those. Right. Right. We probably need a minimum of 50, possibly nearer to 70 of those vehicles uh, to deal with the overcrowding that we already face. However, the RAC Foundation has said today that only 6% of commuter journeys are made by train. They point out that 71% of commuter journeys are made by car and they say that the government's one-size-fits-all policy whereby they're trying to get everybody out of cars and onto public transport simply isn't enough. I'm Kevin Duffy for Channel M News.